Hello everyone and welcome to the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi Summer 2018 Commencement being held at the American Bank Center in beautiful downtown Corpus Christi. Delivering today's commencement address is Ed Cantu, Islander alum, class of 1981 and immediate past president of the National Islander Alumni Association. We are 12,000 students. We are 50,000 alumni. We are your partners in economic development. We are your researchers, protecting our waters for all who live, work, and play in the Gulf of Mexico. We are your nurses, caring for you and your family with cutting edge healthcare expertise. We are your artists, enriching our community through exceptional visual and performing arts. We are your teachers, providing your children with innovative, dedicated educators. We are your innovators, working with the FAA to bring unmanned air systems to America's skies. We are your scientists, using technology to create and inspire. We are your entrepreneurs, developing the business leaders of tomorrow. We are your volunteers, serving our community with thousands of volunteer hours each year. We are your leaders, inspiring growth and personal development in our students. We are your champions, bringing pride to our community through athletics, volunteerism, and youth programs. Inspiring students to get out in their local environment. Caring for our community. Using excellence and discipline to inspire the leaders of tomorrow. That's, That's my Islander impact. impact. Training our youth to be future Islanders. Giving back to the people of my hometown. Spreading creativity in my community. That's, That's my Islander impact. impact. Bringing the arts center stage to Corpus Christi. Helping prepare future business leaders in our own community. I teach students to innovate while problem solving. That's, That's my Islander impact. impact. We are success, realized one student at a time. We are Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, creating opportunity, realizing dreams, and shaping our community for tomorrow. That's my Islander impact. That's our Islander impact. Thank you. 
Please be seated. Mr. Billy Hamilton, Executive Vice Chancellor and Chief Financial Officer of the Texas A&M University System, was unable to join us this morning due to an unforeseen circumstance. However, he sends his best wishes from the A&M system to all of our graduates. At this time, I would like to recognize members of the platform party who will not be introduced elsewhere in the program. Please hold your applause until all members have been introduced. Mr. Tom Mundell, Vice President of Institutional Advancement. Dr. Ahmed Mahdi, Vice President of Research, Commercialization, and Outreach. Dr. Amy Aldridge Sanford, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs. Dr. Don Albright, Vice President for Student Engagement and Success. Mr. Terry Tatum, Executive Vice President for Finance and Administration. Dr. Jerry Moreno, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs. Ms. Margaret Deckett, Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management. Dr. Kate Radowski, Dean of Libraries. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. I would also like to recognize the President's Ambassadors, the Island Ambassadors, and the Student Government Association representatives for serving during today's ceremony. Let's give them a round of applause as well. Well, today we are thrilled to have with us Mr. Ed Cantu of Ed Cantu Insurance Agency and Financial Services. Ed is a top performing insurance agency owner for 33 years with numerous achievements and service awards. His agency is highly recognized and recommended by his clients and his peers. Ed is a member of the National Academy of Best-Selling Authors, where he won a Quill Award for his contributions to Brian Tracy's book, Change Agents. He has served on the board of the United Chamber of Commerce of Corpus Christi, the Corpus Christi Convention and Visitors Bureau, the Greatest, Greater Corpus Christi Hospitality Association, and he is the immediate past president of the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi National Alumni Association and the immediate past chairman of the, of the Leadership Corpus Christi Alumni Association. I'm tired just mentioning all of those things. And he is also the chair-elect of the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi Athletic Fund. He is also an active member of the Corpus Christi Association of Realtors, where he serves on the Public Relations and Governmental Relations Affairs Committee, and he serves on the Governmental Affairs and Membership Committee of the Coastal Bend, House, or, excuse me, Coastal Bend Home Builders Association. So as you can see, uh, Ed Cantu is an incredibly busy person. But what I hope you realize, or what you caught in that list of many, many things that he does, is that he is an alumni of this institution. And when you think about his accomplishments and you hear him speak today, he is someone who has been very successful in his career. He is someone who has been recognized as an award-winning author. And he is someone who gives back to his community, including this university. So as you hear him speak, I hope you are imagining you as alums in the near future and, and following that same path of leadership. I should also add that Ed and his wife Pam are also very active with their church and, um, and with the entire Corpus Christi community. So I am very thrilled to have Ed be our speaker today because he is an example of what it means to be not only a great leader, a great professional, um, a great community member, but also what it means to be an outstanding a and Corpus Christi alumni. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage Mr. Ed Cantu. Thank you. You delivered that much better than I wrote it. <laughs> President Quintanilla, members of the faculty, distinguished guests, parents, family, friends, and especially the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi Summer Class of 2018. Good morning, I'm Ed Cantu, a native Corpus Christian and a local business owner. You know, most commencement speeches are delivered by a famous politician, celebrity, or an alumnus. 
Since most of you have probably never seen me before, you guessed it, I'm an Islander alum. A very proud alum, and that is probably why President Quintanilla invited me here today. Dr. Quintanilla is a trailblazer, an inspiration to all, and apparently a risk taker. For although I have addressed many graduating classes before while I served as president of the National Alumni Association and was honored to speak on behalf of the Alumni Association at President Quintanilla's inauguration, this is my first commencement speech. Let's give President Quintanilla a hand. As a fellow Islander, it is my honor and privilege to speak with you today. As Islanders, we are all connected. We have walked the same paths on Ward Island, sat in the same classrooms, and rooted our Islanders to victory wearing our blue and green with pride. However, when I went to the university, those paths were much shorter, the classrooms were much older, and we had no athletic program. You kids today have got it made. I'm just kidding. In a few minutes, 12 I hope, you will receive your degrees and join 50,000 Islander alumni who have graduated from this great university. Our Island University has helped prepare you for the great things you are going to accomplish. Although you did the work, countless hours of studying and taking tests, you had many people there with you along the way. Professors, classmates, and of course, loved ones who probably encouraged you, helped you with tuition dollars, and maybe even gave you a kick in the butt when you needed it. Let's give them a hand. I know this because in August of 1981, I sat where you were sitting today. Not in this building, but next door at the Selena Auditorium. I was 21 years old, ready to graduate with my BBA. I knew my life was about to change forever. Like many of you, I was a first generation graduate with family, friends, professors in the audience who helped me achieve my goal. But today is about you and what you have accomplished to date. No matter where you began, what obstacles you had to overcome, you pushed forward and you did it. Some of you with honors and others, not so much. But that's okay. I too was a C student in college. You see, I suffered from one major flaw. After coasting through high school making A's and B's without ever studying, I tried that here at the university, and it didn't work that well. In fact, I made the dean's list my first semester, but not the list you want to make. <laughs> there might be a few of you who can relate to my story. There might be a few in the audience, too. To quote President George W. Bush, as I like to tell the C students, you too can be president. I finally learned how to study as I neared my senior year. I was on track to graduate in December of 1981. And then I discovered there was a long shot I could finish in August if I pushed myself and focused. Well, I convinced the university to allow me to take a heavier than normal class schedule. I buckled down, completed 22 hours that summer with a 3.5 GPA and did it. Granted, one of the classes was tennis, and another class was racquetball. <laughs> but nonetheless, I reached my goal. Proof that when you really want something, you can achieve it. No matter how you got here today, after graduation, there will be many more opportunities for you to chase your dreams. Opportunity and the right to pursue our dreams is what makes this nation the best nation in the world. Life does not promise, nor does it guarantee you anything, but with hard work, belief, and determination, anything is possible. To quote Walt Disney, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Have dreams.
and more importantly, have goals. What is the difference? A dream exists only in your mind, but a goal is a written plan with determined deadlines. Focus on your goals, work hard and work smart on them every day, and your dreams will come true. Now, there'll be obstacles to reach your goals, and there'll be setbacks, but push forward. After all, it's not about how many times you fall, it's about how many times you get back up until you succeed. Never accept defeat. Find another way. You know, Michael Jordan and his Chicago Bulls won six NBA championships, but they lost three times in the first round and three more times in the playoffs before they won their first championship. Jordan said, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. So learn from others. I encourage you to seek a mentor and ask for help. Don't think that your college degree comes with all the answers. A degree is a great asset and a good door opener for your new career but don't ever underestimate the value of another person's experience. My greatest mentor never attended high school, yet he was one of the wisest men I ever knew. He was the oldest son in his family with seven younger siblings. He quit school after the eighth grade so that he could help feed his family during the Great Depression of the 1930s. Like most youth, I took his advice for granted, and it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I realized just how wise he was. In fact, the older I got, the smarter he got. This mentor was my dad. And of all the things he taught me, my favorite was this, life can be tough, there will be obstacles, and things may be stacked against you, but remember, it is much more rewarding to accomplish something in spite of your circumstances than it is to accomplish something because of your circumstances. Now, this observation came from my dad, a hard-working World War II United States Navy veteran whose mentors told him he would succeed, but he would have to work harder than others simply because of his surname. Now, my mom and dad, unfortunately, are no longer living, but I still think of them and I thank them for all they sacrificed so that my siblings and I would have a better life. My parents were successful business owners, and more than that, they were great mentors to me and to many others. Our parents made sure we got our college degrees. All three of us are Islanders. My sister and I have BBAs, and my brother has his master's in education. Our parents, made an impact. Graduates, chances are you have a mentor here today. If you do, now would be a good time to give them a hand of applause. In addition to a mentor, I hope you have or find someone special in your life to share your successes. I have a beautiful, understanding wife who loves me. We will celebrate our 25th anniversary in 10 days. She and I spend countless time helping and serving others. She makes an impact. Thank you, Pam. I love you. Well, serving others is the Islander way. As an alum, I want to help build your professional network and keep you connected to this great university that we all love. I invite you to like the Ed 2 Insurance Agency page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and link with me on LinkedIn. I promise I'll keep you informed of all the happenings in Corpus Christi and our university. I hope you stay connected and attend alumni events, both here in Corpus Christi and with our chapters in Houston, San Antonio, and Austin. You know, it's often said, knowledge is power. But I, like Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich, believe that knowledge is only potential power, 
It only becomes power when and if it is organized into a definite plan of action and directed to a definite end. So I urge you, apply the knowledge you have gained at this university to make a difference in your life and to make a positive Islander impact in the lives of others. Leave your mark in whatever you do and do it well so that you make your alma mater and all of us proud of you. Graduation day is a day to celebrate, reflect, and think about new opportunities. Your life is about to change. And that may scare you, but that it's OK. Embrace this change and know that you are ready. You may ask, how do I know you're ready? Well, I have hired many islanders over the years. All have been successful. Two of them are graduating here today. This island university has prepared you. In closing, I ask that you do three things. One, always do the right things for the right reasons. Two, dare to dream and set goals. Three, be a great ambassador for this university and make an impact. As a member of the board of the United Corpus Christi Chamber of Commerce, I hope you start your new career here in Corpus Christi and help, excuse me, and help make our community even better. And if you choose to leave Corpus Christi as a board member of the Corpus Christi Convention and Visitors Bureau, I hope you come back and visit very soon. I wish you all the best and encourage you to stay connected with your classmates, your professors, and this great university. Regardless where life takes you, make an Islander impact. And remember, one thing will always remain true. We are and will always be an Islander forever. Congratulations and go Islanders! I would like to call on Dr. Clorinda Phillips, Provost and Vice President for Ac Academic Affairs, who will present the candidates for graduation. Dr. Phillips? While pursuing a degree from Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, our students are privileged to work with outstanding faculty who are directly responsible for their success. They inspire, they motivate, and they mentor our students in classes and outside of the formal learning experience. They are very talented, hardworking, and committed to providing a high quality education. It is with great pride and enthusiasm that I present to you the faculty of Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Will the faculty please stand and let us thank you for what you do for our students every day. was led today by Dr. Abu Wahid Duzeman from the College of Business. Dr. Wahid Uzeman was recently recognized as the recipient of the University Excellence Award in Service. Now I would like to recognize the academic deans for each of the college's represented at our ceremony this morning. The Dean of the College of Business, Dr. John Gamble.
the Dean of the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. David Scott. The Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Dr. Mark Hartlau. The Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Dr. Julie Hoff. The Dean of the College of Science and Engineering, Dr. Frank Petzl. And the Interim Dean of the College of Graduate Studies, Dr. Karen McCaleb. Texas A&M Texas University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to 45 bachelor's degrees. Will all the candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand? Dr. Quintanilla, the faculty and deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates that appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all the college and university requirements for the bachelor's degrees for which they have studied and are entitled to receive. Please be seated. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to 28 master's degrees. Will all the candidates for the master's degree please stand? Dr. Quintanilla, the faculty and deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates who appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all the college and university requirements for the, for the master's degree for which they have studied and are entitled to receive. Please be seated. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to eight terminal degrees. Will all the candidates for the doctoral degrees please stand? Dr. Quintanilla, the faculty and deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates who appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all of the college and university requirements for the terminal degree for which they have studied and entitled to receive. Now, would all the candidates please stand and remain standing? Dr. Quintanilla, will you please join me at the podium? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System, I hereby confer upon you the particular degree to which you are entitled with all the honors, rights, privileges, prerogatives, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Those earning a bachelor's degree can now turn your class ranks to face outward and shift your tassels from the right to the left, symbolizing the awarding of the degree. Congratulations. And I offer congratulations on, on behalf of myself, the administration, and all A&M Corpus Christi faculty and staff, we are incredibly proud of your accomplishments. Please be seated. I would like to make special mention 
of those bachelor's degree students who will graduate with academic honors. These honor students must have completed at least 45 undergraduate semester hours at A&M University Corpus Christi. This summer, we have a total of 81 students receiving these honors. <laughs> students graduate cum laude if their grade point average is 3.5 through 3.699. Students graduating cum laude can be distinguished by their green cords. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. Students graduate magna cum laude if their grade point average is 3.70 through 3.899. Students graduating magna cum laude can be distinguished by their blue cords. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. Students graduate summa cum laude if their grade point average is 3.9 and above. Silver cords distinguish the students graduating summa cum laude. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. This morning, we have four undergraduate students who are graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. These are all significant academic accomplishments. And on the behalf of our faculty, staff, and all those present this morning, I extend to all of you our sincere congratulations. We will now proceed to the hooding of candidates for their terminal degrees. Doctoral degrees are considered the highest degree one can achieve in a United States university. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi has granted doctoral degrees since spring 1995. Today, we will award Doctor of Education and Education, Educational Leadership degrees and Doctor of Philosophy and Counselor Education degrees from the College of Education and Human Development. Additionally, we will also award our very first Doctor of Nursing Practice degree from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, a program, a program that began in fall 2016. Dr. Scott, Dean for the College of Education and Human Development, along with the graduates' major professors, will assist in hooding our doctoral candidates in the College of Education and Human Development. Dr. Hoff, Dean for the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, along with the graduates major professors, will assist in the hooding of our doctoral candidates in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Dr. Carmen Tejeda Delgado, Associate Professor and Department Chair of Teacher Education, will read the names and the dissertation topics for the candidates. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Silvia Elulalia del Bosque, Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership, 
assisting are Dean David Scott and Dr. Kamiar Kulzikanani. Dissertation titled, Servant Leadership Behaviors of General Equivalency Diploma Graduates, a Non-Randomized Exploratory Inquiry. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Melanie Q. Shandy, Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership, assisting our Dean David Scott and Dr. Lynn Hemmer. Dissertation title, Strike Accord, Music Therapy as a Related Service as Experienced by Key Stakeholders. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Ashley Ann, Doctor of Philosophy in Counselor Education, assisting our Dean David Scott and Dr. Joshua Watson. Dissertation title, Validation of a State of Mind Questionnaire, Evaluating Polyvocal Emotion Regulation. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Caroline Austin Norris, Doctor of Philosophy in Counselor Education, assisting our Dean David Scott, Dr. Yvonne Castile, and Dr. Marverine Oliver. Dissertation title, Counselor in Training Experiences of Self-Compassion Training in Group Supervision. Receiving a doctoral degree from the Nursing and Health Science, Dr. Ulibanki Babalola, Doctor of Nursing Practice, assisting our Dean Julie Hoff and Dr. Elizabeth Sefstek. Dissertation title, A Quality Improvement Initiative to Improve Diabetes Self-Care Education for Hispanic Older Adults Using a Culturally Sensitive Age-Specific Approach. doctorate degree from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Dr. Christine Dawn Holder, Doctor of Nursing Practice, assisting our Dean Julie Hoff and Dr. Teresa Garcia. Dissertation title, The Low Carbohydrate Diet Controversy in Type 2 Diabetes, an Integrative Review for the Literature Using the Chronic Care Model. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of, Ed of Nursing and Health Sciences, Dr. Ashley Kate Hughes, Doctor of Nursing Practice, assisting our Dean Julie Hoff and Dr. Teresa Garcia. Dissertation title, Reducing Nurse Practitioner Turnover in Home-Based Primary Care, a Department of Veterans Affairs Quality Improvement Project. Receiving a doctorate degree from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Dr. Laura Ann Moreno, Doctor of Nursing Practice, assisting our Dean Julie Hoff and Ms. Jessica L. Pett. Dissertation title, Nurse Practitioner-Led Telehealth to Improve Outpatient Pediatric Tracheostomy Management in South Texas. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Nursing and Health Science, Dr. Patricia Solis Niles, Doctor of Nursing Practice, assisting our Dean Julie Hoff and Dr. Eva M. Bell. Dissertation title A Vivir, a plant based diabetes prevention program for Hispanic older adults in South Texas. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Dr. Amy Janelle Thornberry, Doctor of Nursing Practice, assisting our Dean Julie Hoff and Dr. Elizabeth Sefcik. Dissertation title, Occupational Health Nurses, Self-Efficacy in Implementing Smoking Cessation Interventions for Workers, a Manufacturing Company Quality Improvement Project. Receiving 
receiving a doctorate degree from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Dr. Tammy Lynn Walker-Smith, Doctor of Nursing Practice, assisting our Dean Julie Koff and Dr. Sarah A. Baldwin. Dissertation title, A Prospective Quality Improvement Project Using a Mammography Risk Assessment Tool to Increase Screening mam Mammogram Use with Low-Income Hispanic Women. time we will proceed by the order of college with the awarding of the master's degree followed by the awarding of the bachelor's degree. College of Business, Master of Accountancy, Alexandra Ray Gasset. Randy K. Langford. Elma Yvette Lindale. Carl Evan Messina. And Dei Truk Pan. Riaz Ahmed. Brian John Alec. Kyle Daniel Billings. Sammy Bivens. Monica Lynn Brion. Stacy Renee Bush. Araceli Caldera. Ramiro Carizales, Whitley Janelle Chambers, Laura Danielle Charters, Michelle Marie Chen, Ashley Nicole Clark, Anne Demisa, Leanne Marie De Leon, Nai Tai King Duong. Kimberly Lachey Edmondson, Natalie Marie Gayton, Joe Ann Michelle Gutierrez, Adam Abdel Ahmed, Darius Devonte Handy, Terry Alvin Hansen, Kyle Joseph Hopkins, Chong Wang. Eduak Inyang, Mengeshi Lee, Erin Nicole Lingoria, Fani Pimoth, Luven Sopofom, Sharonda Luki, Blake James Ming, Eva Jane Muhammad, Suhas D. Nair, Shireen Omar, Melissa Ott Alderbright, Tiffany Ferris, David Ramazan, Lydia Sanchez Ramirez, Brandon Scott Reese, Kieran Paripati Reddy, Aaron A. Sada. Sumit Kumar Saha. Ryan Kanathan Sakaguko Palagrishna. William Barrett Smith. Christina Stein. Christina Annette Tyler. Minyuan Wang. Rebecca Von Bodegraven. College of Education and Human Development. Master of Science, Amanda Marie Blackman. Susan Lita Cowart. George Luis de los Santos, Jr. Marisa Renee Folsom. Abigail Ann Gomez. Ashley Lauren Gonzalez. Casey Ulani Hernandez. Tasia Teresa Hill. Amy Jaramillo. 
Adam Michael King. Peyton Lingren. Hunam Vasant Menkar. Peyton Deanne Mueller. Juliana Navarro. Cynthia Ordenes. Veronica Rebecca Perales. Nicole Francis Poulson. Rachel Lynn Zorowski. College of Liberal Arts. Chuan Tran. College of Nursing and Health Science. Rilindis Mana Akwanga. Rebecca Estella Guster. Bobby Joe Martinez. Rosa Marina Rivera. Yurasi Salazar. College of Science and Engineering, Master of Science, Eugenia Barnes. Jacqueline J. Campbell. Cole Everett Castleberry. Isabel Antoinette Garcia. Tiffany Nicole Hawkins. Adriana Leva. Chinmayi Lingham. Ravi Taja Naila. Sai Varun Palaschetti. Christina Shiny As Pulipati. Arun Brasenta. Morgan Star Sobel. Rachel Nicole Woodworth. Rahul Yedamaseri. Michaela Zeigler. Haley Beck. Danielle Renee Zimmerman. College of Business. Bachelor of Business Administration, Abdul Ami Turki Alanasi, summa cum laude. Andrea Celeste Alvarez. Joey and Jelly Belasi. Roseanne Chavera, cum laude. Christopher M. Betty. Cole Benish. Patrick J. Brennan. Patrick John Burns. Juanita Carrillo. Kylie Renee Carter. Chelsea Ray Cabot. Caroline Key Daniels. Christopher Antonio Garagua. Gabriel Eric Garcia. Mariah Josie Garcia, magna cum laude. Jessica Garza, summa cum laude. Sky Marie Garza Luna. Ashen Renee Gooch. Jack Goodjoin. Grant Habby Griffin. Sierra M. Guerra. Claire Ellen Hanna. Alexis Marie Herrick. Grayson Ilsing, summa cum laude. Marlena Jamison. Jamie Christine Janet. Sydney Brooke Jermigan, cum laude. Samantha Lee Johnson. Kyle Ray Cavanaugh. Carter Andrew Lilly. Haley Alexandra Lopez, cum laude. Celeste Maria Medina. Derek A. Mercado. Sally Ann Mormon. Eric Joshua Moreno. Shannon D. Nix. Aiza Ojeda. Cecilia Guadalupe Pozos. Denise Rocha, magna cum laude. 
Miranda Elisa Sanchez. Alvaro Ignacio Tapia. Stanley Lamont Temple III. Adrian Jesus Tovar. Stephen A. Vela. Maria Soledad Villarreal. College of Education and Human Development. Bachelor of Science, Omar Alaniz, Jr. Renee Ballesteros. Justin A. Cortez. William F. Cox. Katrina Jean Fenton, cum laude. Chelsea Renee Harley. Alyssa Gabriel Lemon. Ronnie Andrew Lopez. Jessica Mikhail. Megan Nicole O'Mary, cum laude. Brianna Smoot, cum laude. Amanda Lee Torres. Jordan Brooke Wainwright, magna cum laude. Teresa Lee Denise Baldwin. Brooke Meredith Young, cum laude. College of Liberal Arts. Bachelor of Arts, David Bazan, magna cum laude. Reagan Vigo. Cameron Boudreaux. Caroline Grace Braslaw. Julian Thomas Brazil, Sr. Daniel Brokaw. Casey Jamika Brown. Daniela Aurora Campos, cum laude. Patience Susie Cannon. Catalina Victoria Cifuentes. Gina M. Companion, summa cum laude. Brittany Lee Curiel. Mariah Kristen DiMartino, magna cum laude. Jordan Leigh Drake, magna cum laude. Kayla Elaine Dural, Victoria Lynn Foss, Maribel Guadalupe Gallegos, Michael Andrew Garcia, Brianna Devin Garza, cum laude, Charles Robert Gonzalez III, Lauren Anais Guillen, Olga L. Hernandez, Joshua Allen Hunter. Micah Knuck. Malcolm Konicha. Jerry Lemons. Sydney Lesher, magna cum laude. Julia Maurer, cum laude. Elisa Judith McNeil, magna cum laude. Leanne Mena, cum laude. Ramsey Saeed Mazajek. James Joseph Murphy. Caitlin Elisa Nawara, magna cum laude. Valerie Puramo. Grace E. Robertson. Christina Ray Rodriguez. Henry Gregory Romaneski III. Benjamin Renee Sorrell. Deanna Then. Kelsey Nicole Thomas. Cassandra Nicole Torres. Erica Trujillo. Jeremiah Buck Watson. Claire Argentina Welch. Wilson Michael Wood. Minerva de la Garza, Bachelor of Applied Science. Cheyenne Epps. Bethany Amy Fritz. Mariah Nicole Longoria, cum laude. Leandra Lugo. 
Miguel A. Nunez. Alicia Quick. Silvia Santos. Kiana Seals. Samuel Douglas Taylor. Bachelor of Science, Benjamin Charles Burgos. Deidre Ann Garza. Natalia Francilia Gutierrez. William Lewis Hodges. Audrey Ann Leal. Angelica Martinez, cum laude. Lindsay Grace Mitch. Isaiah Morales, cum laude. Mario Lutino Vega, Jr. Brandon Stekovica. Aaron Hunter Wolcott. College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, Ms. Tura Olamide Arebayo C. Mario Alexander Alami. Dafer Hamad Al Murti. Andrew Joseph Diaz. Amber Nicole Flax. Abigail Rose Flax. Riley Hogan. Cassandra Nicole Holler. Jessica Oak Isaac. Juan A. Marinas III. Ling Lam Chia Yun, cum laude. Samantha Renee Perry. Christina Daniela Solis. Ashley Brianne Sauer. Stacy Ann Velasquez, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Allison Nicole Abbott, cum laude. <laughs> Lindsay Akers, <laughs> Amy Aleman, Leo Arce, cum laude. <laughs> Josephine Suzanne Arnold, summa cum laude. <laughs> Gladys Berenice Aratia. Amanda Arlene Baker. Jamie Beam, magna cum laude. Benjamin Benshoff, cum laude. Wyatt Sean Blankenship. Jessica Brandt. Emily M. Brinkenhofer. Jessica Gwyn Cabrera, magna cum laude. Andrea Cantu. Nadia Karen Cisperes. Araceli Marie Colmenero. Beverly Crawford, magna cum laude. Alexandra Lissette Davis, Ibn Kovici. Marisa Dominguez. Megan Ashley Irvin. Deborah Michelle Fisher, magna cum laude. Maria Teresa Gallardo. Allison Brooke Gallegos. Brian Nicole, Brianna Nicole Gandera. Ines B. Garcia, cum laude. Suzette Marie Garcia. Brittany Nicole Garrett. Michaela Amber Garrison. Alejandra Garza. Christina E. Garza Quintana. Morgan Taylor Gollett. Remington Gepkin. Kevin L. Gibson II, active duty U.S. Navy. Nokabi Gahi, cum laude. Valerie Joyce Grimm. 
Jislim Imara Guerrero, Miranda Alana Gutierrez, Mallory Danielle Hearn, Sarah Rose Hendricks, Amanda Marie Hernandez, magna cum laude, Anissa Noel Hernandez, summa cum laude, Maribel Hernandez, Tiara Hopkins, Amy Blanche Jackson, Lauren Elizabeth McGee, Olfat Najam Kamal, Rachel Ann Kasowski, Haley Faye Kennedy, John Henry Kinsley Jr., Douglas Kloffenstein, Morgan Kotiras, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Faye Larson, magna cum laude. Andrea Rose Leal, magna cum laude. Daniela Lute. Edward C. Macias. Mario S. Magnan. Noah Neil Mari Margati. Raquel Selena Martinez. Alvin F. B. Matthew. Elizabeth Marie McCleary, summa cum laude. Miranda Ray McIntyre. Amanda Lynn McKenzie. Kelsey Ray McElsky, cum laude. Jacqueline Moffett, cum laude. Magdalena Rose Montes, cum laude. Faith Morehouse. Kevin Hassan Moreno. Gabriela Murua. Haley Ashton Moss. Doris Newton. Valerie Palacios. Naomi Page, Naomi Page Parker. Crystal Marie Benya, magna cum laude. Maria Irene Rivas. Sabrina Rivera. Abigail Priscillian Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Kimberlyn Rose Rogers, cum laude. Desiree Leanne Rutherford. Krista Sines. Kendra Solis, cum laude. Pamela Janelle Salas. Victoria Danielle Salas. Paige Lizette Salazar. Christina Sanchez, cum laude. Viviana Santos. Caleb John Schauerger, cum laude. Stacy Lee Schultz, magna cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Steffen, magna cum laude. Caitlin Marie Sullivan, cum laude. Amy Dawn Swindells. Ruby Damez. Amy Michelle Thornton. Tatiana Marie Tinoco. Aspen Trimble. Taylor Page Truly, cum laude. David Don Trong, cum laude. Tiffany Van Zandt, magna cum laude. Crystal Amanda Vega, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Christine Vega, cum laude. Cleo Diana Beckley, summa cum laude. Leah Andrea Villarreal, Natasha Vidic, Jennifer Marie Watts, cum laude, Connie Sue Woodburn, Julia Ann Zuniga, magna cum laude, Paul 
College of Science and Engineering Bachelor of Science, Tracy Julianne Ekiyama. Christian Alejandro Alcorta. Raid Hassan Yahib Ala, cum laude. Joshua Dominic Avalos. Jeno Bautista. Suhani Bakta, cum laude. Preston Willis Campbell. Zachary Paul Cherries. Brianna Cletus. Hunter Summerick. Anson Wheeler Dial Zuniga. Nicholas Reed Dominguez. James Parker Etheridge. Shane Evans. Juan L. Farias. Paige Ferrix, cum laude. Denise Ann Garza. Annalisa Hernandez. Maximilian Powderman. Taylor Michelle Janice, magna cum laude. Tori M. Jones. Lauren Elizabeth Lanier. Myra Leja. Haley J. Martinez, cum laude. Francis Florian Mazurek, Jr., magna cum laude. Marley Elise McMurray. Shelby Ann Miskell. Sarah Renee Morales. Tracy Ann Narvaez, cum laude. Niu Du Guan Win, cum laude. Matthew Penchek. Karen S. Q. Karen. Zoe E. Ramos, cum laude. Jordan Reyes, cum laude. Patricia Carolina Romero. Lupita J. Sanchez. Eric Sebastian Soto. Roger T. Tymon Jr. Ryan Lewis Turner. Simon Alexander Vera. Anissa Miranda Villanueva. Alicia Ann Boyd. Jason W. Wagoner. Jackson Cordell Watkins. Sabrina Denise White. Roger Zuniga. Sarah Renee Gandu. As our graduates are making their way back to their seats, I would like to express my sincere congratulations. Each of you have made and will continue to make a great impact on our community. Whether you are near or far, please know that your Islander family is proud. I would also like us to give an, a special thank you and round of applause to Dr. Carmen Tejado Delgado for reading nearly 500 names. That is the toughest job of graduation, I promise you.
I think our final graduates have made it to their seats. So would all the graduates please stand one more time and let's give them a big congratulations. Congratulations, Islanders. I come to you on behalf of nearly now 51,000 alumni who proudly have graduated from this fine university. I hope your time as an Islander has been great and memorable journey. Use these memories to reminisce upon the positive impact that you've had on the university has had on your life. Today will be another page to add to your catalog of memories. It is the first day to be an official alumnus and ambassador of your alma mater. As alumni, our reach stretches across the nation with members in every state and in many countries around the globe. As you begin your journey away from the island, let me challenge you to three simple tasks as alumni. First, stay connected. Continue to stay close to your professors. The university, the Alumni Association, read the Islander Magazine. Follow us on social media, Stay in tune to Islander alumni events happening in your area. Second, stay connected. There are dozens of meaningful ways in which you can stay both engaged with your fellow graduates and the university. Join a chapter. Visit us during homecoming. Recruit and mentor a new student. Third and last, show your Islander pride. Let everyone know you're proud of your university. Display your diploma. Wear a t-shirt. Attend an Islander sporting event. Now, to seal the commitment to this challenge, each graduate has been given a small token that we present only to alumni. Inside your diploma tube, you'll discover a small lapel pin. When you open it, please fasten it to your chest, and you can officially call yourself Islander alumni. Wear this pin as a symbol of your commitment. Everyone, let's give these new alumni a round of applause. On behalf of the Islander Alumni and the National Alumni Association Board of Directors, welcome to our Island Alumni family. Now go and take the island to the world. Congratulations and go Islanders! Thank you, Ms. Turner, for your important message to our new alums. Graduates, you have many people to thank for reaching this point in your life. Will all the mothers, fathers, spouses, children, and other family members of the graduates, would you please stand? And Islanders, let's thank them. As amazing as they are, our, our students could not do it without you. As we conclude this commencement ceremony, I would like to thank our commencement speaker once again, Mr. Ed Cantu, for his address to the graduates. The music today was being performed by the Islander Brass Quintet, and my sincere thank you to members of the quintet for the wonderful music. I would also like to thank all of you who came out today to honor our graduates. This is a special day, one that they will cherish forever, and we are glad you are here to be a part of it. For the safety of our guests, 
please remain seated until the platform party and the graduates have exited the arena. Graduates will be exiting out the building toward Shoreline Boulevard, so you may meet them there. Graduates, let me end today's ceremony by saying thank you. Thank you for all the honor and the prestige that you have brought to Texas A&M University Corpus Christi as students. Thank you in advance for all the honor and prestige that I know you will bring this campus as successful professionals and community leaders. You have set a goal and you have achieved that goal. You've achieved a goal and educational level that very few in this world ever obtain. I actually looked at the latest statistics and it's 6.7% of the world's population receives a degree in higher education. So you are now among the educational elite. Each of you have proven that you are a leader and you are the future. The future of this university, this state, this nation, and this world. No matter where you go, no matter where life takes you, no matter what level of success you achieve, never forget that you are an Islander forever. Congratulations and go Islanders.
Thank you. 